Alrighty then. Uh, we're gonna. I'm going to uh, take these radio organ uh, buttons apart from from this uh, mount. And in order to do that, it's going to take a. It's going to be a squeaker. Uh, these. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can see these. My lighting is uh, a little short of desirable today. Uh, on each end of this assembly, there is an eighth-inch rod thereabouts it goes through all of these and the, it's pinched here at really pinched this is the more pinchiest one that I've seen of the ones that I've done uh, and this end is yeah, about the same um, some of these aren't as pinched as 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 these are uh, which are going to be a lot easier to uh, negotiate getting that remove extracting this pin this entire assembly comes right out uh, once you get this these pinch points opened up and to do that I have went to a screwdriver of this size and shaved down the blade a little bit so it's it's a little thinner here on the end and I take a just a weight because I, I don't want to take and crack this pot metal all the way through and I just wedge it right down in there like that and I give it a little thump and then I go to the other side, other side. And let me turn this around so I can get a better. I know you won't be able to see this, but it's the same technique. And we're going to take and do a little wacky do there. And a little bit more to Santa Claus on that side. Maybe just a, a little bit more to Santa Claus. And now, hopefully it's still in frame. You take, and take a little something and, and put a little praying on it. Coaxing. And... It'll come up enough to where you can get a bite on it. I'll use the teeth of these. And I'll give it a little jiggle. A little jiggle. And wiggle it out of the other end. There we go. And now these here. Uh, these buttons here just need to to flip up so that they will well let me let me extract this pin out of all these buttons here there we go yeah <laughs> Okay, now, uh, these here will just spin like that. And, and this one here sure wants to be a bugger. I've had skeeters that give me a less time than that. Okay, and a little bit more here. Uh, this, this here is a... 
you know, would be the difficult one I would have to do on camera. Okay, um, and that's basically all you do on that. Um, make sure you take pictures so that way you get the right tone in the right slot. Um, okay, and that's that's how you do that that one they should both be interchangeable one to the other uh, so there's no no real issue with that uh, now if you if you do manage to uh, to chip off one of these pinched areas and break it off uh, don't panic you can use a little JB to go back in there and just put a dollop on it you don't need to cover it like it's you're you're burying it for for the next generation uh, just a dopple on there and uh, let it tear up and that will hold it let's see Come on out of there. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Take two and call me in the morning. That's why. Yeah. Yeah, what we want. There we come. Now you pry that up there good enough to get a hold of it. And then you can jiggle it out of the other end. Hopefully all of this is in frame. Hey, look, look at there. That one there decided to cooperate. And it's a good thing too, boy, because I was going to get really upset if you did give me another problem. I don't know where that. I don't know where the, where this um, where this nut came from, but I'm sure it's from something on the radio. I'm sure I'll probably come across it later. Okay, so now um, these things are ready to be dipped in the solution. Uh, these these tangs here if you can see them if I got the thing in the right spot these tangs are just stamped there there's a little square post that comes up and this one here looks more square there's a little square post that comes up here on this little mounting pat platform here and all they do is put this spring metal in there with the little square hole there Put it over there and they take a dug on uh, punch and punch it in both directions and that keeps it on well if you got one that's busted off just take and reshape that post what's left of it and get you just a piece of um, eh, 20 gauge 22 gauge uh, steel panel and make it a little gizzy tang like that and uh, put a little hole in it and shape it and put it over the thing and stamp it again now if that is not an option use a dollop of uh, drill a little hole down through there so that it gives the JB well something to hold on to put your piece of metal over the thing dollop it with a uh, little Grubel of uh, JB Weld and let it cure and that will be good enough this tang doesn't have anything to hold on to it's just something to grip against the uh, bezel while this side here is the one that grips um, this is like a gate latch almost <laughs> likened to a gate latch a chain link gate latch um, and uh, and there you'll have it 
So hopefully that gives you a chance to get your parts apart and without fear. And I'll see you on the next segment.